Today, depreciated cost. This is number one in a series of videos about automating depreciated cost with the Solomon appraisal calculators. When you log in, you will arrive at our original application, Solomon Adjustment. Notice on the upper left there are menu bars. If you click there, the calculator will fill the entire window. Click again, and you can navigate to all four calculators plus the user manual. Let's start with the user manual. The introduction talks about each calculator and what it is designed to do. Next, you can read about the assumptions that are basic to all four calculators. We license data from National Building Cost, published by Craftsman Book Club. We have included everything you need for most single-family residential appraisal assignments, so if you subscribe to Solomon, you probably won't need other more expensive cost data. Let's go back to our original calculator, Solomon Adjustment. This calculator needs only three inputs. The subject zip code is used to localize cost data to the subject property. Next, select the subject quality rating. The quality levels correspond to the UAD system, with one being highest and six as the lowest. You have the option to choose an intermediate rating if the subject has characteristics of two quality levels. Last, enter remaining economic life. Now this is not remaining physical life, think in terms of estimating the number of years that the building will continue to add value to the land. Click Calculate. On the right you will see adjustments for seven cost categories. The first three are square foot adjustments. The last four are unit adjustments. The garage adjustment is for a second or third garage stall, which is usually the case. A first garage stall costs 67% more than an additional stall. So if you need an adjustment for 0 versus 1 stall, multiply this result by 1.67. Let's go back to the user manual and take a closer look at what we are doing. Each section begins with some guidance for the language you could use in your report to summarize this method of developing adjustments. Next are the five steps to using the calculator with explanations for each. Then, a screen capture with the steps numbered. Finally, there is a summary of the calculations made for you in the software. In this example, we will assume the subject is located in zip code 55123. The cost data shows a multiplier of 13% over base cost, so the software pulls 1.13 into the equation. Next, we see the quality rating of Q4. The software pulls 86.27 into the equation for base cost and economic life of 60 years. Economic life is not something you should estimate. It is a specification in the cost manual. Last, the 40-year remaining economic life estimate is pulled into the equation. Here you see the calculation. The zip code multiplier of 1.13 times the base cost times remaining economic life divided by economic life. The percentage you get when you divide remaining economic life by economic life is the percentage of cost being paid by the market. In this case, 67% of cost new. It follows that depreciation is 33%. Where does the 8627 come from? Let's go back to Appendix A of the user manual. 8627 is the marginal cost of GLA. Marginal cost is a term used in financial accounting for the cost of one more unit of production. In this case, one more unit of production is one more square foot of GLA. Solomon calculates marginal cost by using regression. Each of these plots represents a different quality rating. The cost of GLA for a Q4 is 43,992 plus $86.27 per square foot. A Q3 is 59,532 plus $120.79 per square foot. If the house is a Q4, start with 8627. Back to page 4 of the user manual. Here are the calculations for the other adjustments. Let's skip down to the full bath where we see the base cost of 7314. The multiplier increases that to 8265 and depreciation of 33% brings it down to 5510. The depreciated cost of a bath, assuming zip code 55123, a quality rating of 4, and remaining economic life of 40 years is 
$5,510. Before we leave Solomon adjustment, I want to point out two important assumptions. First, the depreciation percentage is driven by the appraiser's estimate of remaining economic life. An estimate of 40 years for a Q4 with 60-year economic life means the market is paying 40 divided by 60, or 67% of cost new. Consequently, depreciation is 33%. Second, all of the adjustments assume that depreciation occurs equally throughout the building. The building as a whole has depreciated 33% and we simply apply that 33% to each cost category. Our next application, Solomon Cost, replaces the estimate of remaining economic life with a calculation of the amount of depreciation recognized by the market. It also gives you control over the assumption that depreciation occurs equally throughout the building. Check out part two for more on Solomon Cost. I'm Scott Cullen from the Solomon Appraisal Calculators, where we are developing new ways to help residential appraisers save time and write more credible reports.